Well, it's made a lot of difference, you know. It's cleared the lane. It's made it... Obviously, you've had to sacrifice some branches, but they haven't taken the whole thing out, you see. They're not totally destroying. And I've seen a couple of really old stones. They might not start work to ten. As soon as they've nearly finished, or they have finished, looks like they've got from top to bottom to me. It's ten past ten. Once I get just up there, that's that's it. To be quite honest, we start seeing landmark trees that I always pass and always take a photo of. Landmark trees. Great big ferns. I would be very upset if they chopped them down. I don't think they will because there's some actually further over in the field as well. I think they reckon it might get up to 22 to 24 degrees a day. But I've, I've got autumn clothes on. The weather can change, you see. The weather can change after, say, 4 o'clock. Now, right over there, right over there, that hill there, that's the back of the Mendip Hills, way very down. Right, going towards Crook's Peak, which I've done as well. I've done all that. Lots of times. I did the uh, long Crook's Peak walk both ways, actually, uh, this year. So I don't really have to do it again. I've got other walks to fit in. This would have been a good contact day, but I can't, I can't afford it this week. I'll wait till it goes back because I'll be doing um, Big Noller bus stop there and back, not the West Bagra, which is a very, very dangerous place to have a bus stop. It's not even signposted. Yeah, it's not even signposted. At, at West Bagra, there's no sign for a bus stop. And they come along that road fast, the Taunton to Minehead Road, or Minehead to Taunton Road. It's a very fast road, narrow with high hedges. I've risked it twice. It's easier getting off there to go to the hills than trying to get a bus to stop for you. Ah, oh, yeah, there's the, the landmark tree is coming into view. And it looks like they might still have bits to do here. But no, they've done a lot, haven't they? They really have done a lot. And I was lucky that I didn't come last week, for example. Or over the last two and a half weeks where they've been doing this. So I planned it. I didn't even know they were doing it. I didn't plan it. By chance, I've been able to do it. Now, I have got a bit of road work to do. I'm following this route all the way down to the Shipham Cheddar Road. Then I'm going to cross over that road, go up a B road, that actually bypasses Tinian's Farm if you carry on. Um, but I'm taking the route through the woods instead. Yeah, I think they've done it. I think they've done it. They should take that off now, really, shouldn't they? It's been done. Hello, Sheepies! Where have you all run off to? Hey? I sometimes come down in a field next door, down through that wood, if I do that top path. But I'm avoiding getting my feet wet today. I'm avoiding it. So there's one of the landmark trees that I pass. They stick out. They are reference points when you're over here. And that's the West Mendip Way. And it's been cleared. There's no big vehicles on there. It's, if you ask me, it looks pretty safe, and I expect the horses are going through again. The tape has been taken down. I would say that is open now, personally. Like I said, some breathtaking views around here. There really is. A beautiful place. There's a dragonfly on the ceiling. 
Look at that. I don't know, you look like a cross between a fly and a dragonfly actually. And um, I can actually see... Oh. If I look down that field there, I can see St James the Great Winscombe Church. Down there, look. I took a picture of it earlier. It's a nice picture of it, isn't it? In the hills, over at, way over the far hills, Hutton. Yeah, so here we go. We're doing quite well. Um, we just checked the time. This is Sheila in the Somerset countryside, having only decided last night to do this route. I thought, I go up Cheddar, climb up through there, so often climb up. I mean, I climb down it as well, because Cheddar is the junction point, don't forget. Um, in theory, if I had to, I'd come come back this way, but uh, or I'd go to Samford. There's a route I take, passing the quarry and everything. Some people might remember that. Yeah, I expect they had things up across here stopping people going up here. Looks like I reckon they did. Look, there's some red markers and there's a sign there. Hello, big tree. How are you? Right. Just oh, do you know what? I just feel so alive when I'm out. Look at the blue sky. I can hear birds. In that big ash tree there, that's an ash I reckon. You can hear the bees and the wasps and little birds twittering. That's full of life, that tree as will be this big landmark. So I'm going, instead of normally branching off down here a bit, I'm going straight on to the Shipham Cheddar Road. This is probably the third video that I'm doing. I'm probably spending a bit more time... I'm probably spending a bit more time on this video this section of the walk I'm in, because they've just done that bridle path. Because they've just done that. You know, it's, uh, I mean, I've been walking this for 12 odd years, this bridal path, and um, maybe longer. And this is the first time that's been done. They might have had a bit of clipping in the past, but that has really been cleared really well. But there's nothing to say what with massive flooding and heavy storm that that won't form trenches again. Um, it depends what they've put in underneath where they flattened it. If they put any um, stuff off the quarry or something, you know, they might have had some spare stuff that you could fill in the holes. Like it is done here, you see. But normally, you prepare, you get prepared to get covered in mud when you go home that way. It's, it's, it always seems worth going downhill for some reason. Um, but I'm just feeding. I can smell the countryside. That's a lovely picture of the cow on the hill there, isn't it? By that tree. Anyway, what I'm saying, it's great to be out here in this beauty. This is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely magnificent as far as I'm concerned. Now up there is another way I go to get to the top track. I quite no, I don't often do it, I rarely do it, but that is a that is a way. And at the very top there's a big, big old stone style. Right, over that when I get a picture of that. Right, could be the fourth I think it's the fourth video. Just got up the top of uh, the lane now. And usually I come and go from this lane here. I go down past near the farm down the bottom there, across the f a field, then into another big field where there's lots of cows usually. Um, but today I'm doing this route mainly to avoid that situation. But also I don't mind going. This is another way of me of being able to get into Robert Warren, which I like to do. I actually don't mind doing this. I actually don't mind going on the road for a little bit. So by West Mendit Way, I shouldn't be coming back this way today. A winter walk could be, when the cows have all gone. But of course, with the 
warmer weathers really to be quite honest we get we don't really get really bad winters I know they're still cold and they are when you're in your house but when you're out walking I mean obviously rain and fierce winds are horrible but I think the farmers keep the cows out longer now they can eat the grass if they've got a poor harvest for example they can eat put them out in the fields rotate them so I've been finding some farmers, to, they have also adapted the type of cow they have. That can stay out all year long. <sighs> and I, as I said, most of my life, over 60 years of it, I didn't have a problem. When people say, <laughs> they laugh, sorry, I never had a problem, just like you didn't, or don't. You, you get chased, you get surrounded, and just see how you feel. Even though those cows might not be after you, one of them treads on your toe and you fall over, you're going to be trampled. Because you won't be able to get a big cow off your foot. And that's how it can happen. They tread on your toe, you can't move. They break your back. Stamp on your head. I, this has happened to people. People who've survived are told of their awful experience. And they too, once, trusted and walked among cows. So, I am more cautious now than I was, although I was always cautious, especially when they were calves. So this is, um, I don't think this is cast as the Mendip way anymore. <clears throat> the route I normally go is, uh, but this is an alternative route, and I think with the West Mendip way, They've actually got lots of different little tributaries, if you like. Like, even if you're on the top route up there, you'll probably see a West Mendip Way sign. There are some, there are obviously, most of them are main routes, but I believe there's more than one, one of them. Of course, the West Mendip Way starts in uphill and goes cross country to Wells, W-E-L-L-S, Wells in Somerset. That is the, that's where it ends. And then it becomes the East Mendip Way when it will go over Froome, Shepton, Mallet Way. So this is a defined route, but it has got various points where you can join it. So even though you could be over there thinking you're on the West Mendip Way, you are and you will join up with the main one up at uh, Shippham, up at uh, Robert Warren. They all join up and they're all going the same way. But this is the main one. This one here is the main route. So that's another quite nice scene up there, look. I took a picture of a cow near a tree a minute ago. It was really lovely. Uh, there's that same cow. Right, there he is. And there's his mates. And they've got access to quite a lot of fields, those ones. Um, but I am just feeling so happy to be out. You know, so... Right, I'm going to turn off now, folks. We'll just have a quick look at these, at these two gates. There's an old building there. Yeah, there's another field there. And then, oh yeah. See these cows in here? See these? When I come across a field further over, <coughs> these back cows here, bulls, or whatever they are, bullocks. These are them, and they've got another way of getting in. Today they're right up here. So if I had gone that way, I probably would have missed them. They would have been up here high. Okay. But I've got, I, I, I'm not avoiding them today. I've got a plan of where I'm going. <sighs> yeah, there's an old barn here. They do have cows in this field. You can see from all the churning that they move them about a bit. 
But so that's the upper route is up above there, and that'll lead to the big cheddar quarry. Over there you've got Wavery Down, you've got back of the Mendips going to Crooks Peak. I get people following me all over the world, by the way. So even though some people say, God, she's, not, she's boring or something, there are some people who love it. I'm catering for everyone. So this is called Drove Farm. Okay, Drove Farm. <sighs> look at that, that's weird, isn't it? Look, he's got a camera up, it's in the shape of an eyeball, look. Hello. Oh, okay, it's only me. I thought that was quite good having an eyeball there. It's <laughs> a good idea, isn't it? Very discreet. It could be a massive dog in there. He sounded like he had a gentle bark, though. So that's one good thing. There's the black bullocks in there and I'm moving away now from this part of the uh, walk. We're going to start here in traffic in a minute and it's soon time for me to tie up my hair and take my jumper off. It's starting to get... Although if I remember going up the little road it can be a bit cool. It's quite shady. It's quite pleasant. Of course, many, many years ago, I walked the 22 miles off the West Mendip Way from uphill to Wells with the, with the cadets, army cadets. We did it. Hello. Don't worry, I'm not coming in your field. I've just come to say hello to you all. You're great, aren't you? I wouldn't come in there with you. Don't worry. You're lovely though, aren't you all? Some people sing to cows, you know. La 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 Do you like that? Do you want me to sing to you? You're beautiful, aren't you? What a lovely lot you are. Yeah, and I don't worry, I'm not coming in there. I wouldn't dare. No, I wouldn't intrude on your spaces. Over and out.